What is going on guys welcome back to another video and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at my ui 9 on redmi note 3 yep my ui 9 has been ported to a redmi note 3 it's still not be officially released oh crap wrong phone okay now feels better as you can see i have redmi note 3 in my hand and there you go you have the full my ui 9 running over here now this my ui 9 is still not been officially released as i said before as you know xiaomi is releasing my ui 9 beta on the 26th of august it's like two days remaining for it but still there is a catch we still don't have any information whether the my ui 9 will be on android nougat for our redmi note 3 or not and also as this has been ported from the mi max we have the android nougat and we also have vulcan api support yep this rom also supports vulcan api so you will get much more smoother experience in gaming and any other ui stuff so yeah that's a plus point of using mi max rom there are some bugs in this rom which can be just fixed in uh, upcoming days but still this is a very good rom to be tried on as it has more features than the redmi note 3 for such an example if you drag down your status bar actually have five toggles over here as this has been ported from a bigger device but still there are some fun little bugs over here such as the brightness ladder it works but in this part it's just completely dead you can actually uh, control it in this portion only but the point is features still work so before we continue in this thanks for the submissions for my 17k q and I really liked it and if you want to still submit and you have a channel with like 100 plus subscribers you can still make a video question for my 17k q and and just DM me on Instagram or you can just comment down on my Instagram post which will be linked in the description basically get a shout out to your channel so let's just begin as you can see my ui 9 what can i extra explain over here but this is actually the global one so it doesn't have smart assist then even if you go to settings it doesn't have the advanced manager as a china rom let me show you as i'm blessed to have a redmi note 4 with me too as you can see on a china rom the my ui 9 logo is lightning whereas on the global rom you get a 9 which is a very weird difference between these two devices i've never noticed that then again if you drag down the notification panel on the china one you have the finder and stuff if you still swipe up you have the finder over here such as oh this too as you can see but the finder on the my ui 9 china one is a bit better one and also you have the assistant on china but let's just uh, <laughs> stop bragging about the redmi note 4 but as you can see camera and every other stuff is just working fine yep i have got the camera working those who have already tried this wrong camera doesn't work but yeah i will show you a workaround over here but the recording still doesn't work so if you want to record videos you have to still use any kind of secondary app such as open camera camera mx or any other stuff then even if you go to the recent apps panel you have the split screen so you can just use it with any other app such as this mi explorer basically you will have the message over here which doesn't support it all of the features are still working as you can see on our redmi note 3 all of the icons just have their own kind of animation as you can see so let's just get to the installing of this rom so first of all you will need a unlock bootloader of course the normal top recovery wouldn't work you have to have like a zx top recovery or a red wolf but red wolf doesn't work on a 2 gb ram variant as i have right over here 2 gigs of ram so i will really recommend recommend to use a ZSX top recovery links in the description then you have to also download this rom by the turkish developers yep the volte is working in this rom you have to download the volte patch which is the same as the lineage os and in order to fix the camera you have to also download the agni kernel you also get screen modes which is very good if you use for video content but if you go to the agni control everything is just stock nothing is overclocked so let's just go to the recovery by power off as you can see phone is now powered off now hold your volume up and home button as you can see i have a google logo because i am modded my device but you will just get the basic mio here and this is how the zcx to up recovery looks then you have to just basically go to wipe advanced wipe dial week catch system data catch and cuss you don't have to wipe your internal storage on micro sd card now the ui would be a bit different when the rom boots cause uh, mi max has a more condensed ui as of the bigger screen now you have to just download an app called dpi changer and just set the dpi to 470 you will just basically get redmi note 3 ui back now let's just go to the install you have to just find the rom as you can see my ui 9 rom you have to just flash it it will just flash in like three to five minutes as you can see don't reboot the system just off now go back and just flash the agni kernel in order to get the camera working tap next if you want the agni control app then you can install but basically it's none of use if you want the screen modes yep you can actually adjust the screen modes to vibrate high contrast lower contrast which would be good so install that now you have to just select your fingerprint type now mine is good x so i would be going with the second one just don't install the third and the fourth one if you have fpc then install fpc if you want the system file check which i wouldn't recommend because this is not lineage os i see linux mode then i would just suggest rom default then if you want the thermal blobs now older version actually 
charges the phone pretty quick but while charging the phone becomes a bit hot i don't use my phone while charging so yeah older version would be good you will get much more better experience and the camera fully working now the next review to your device still no then if you want the voltage you can just download it and just flash it right away in order to use the screen control app you will need root so again link in the description you have to just flash this super su the final thing reboot the system and there you go you have successfully installed my ui 9 nougat on your redmi note 3 as you can see the phone is acting a bit weird because auto brightness has some bugs right now as you can see it's just exploding in the camera sorry for the bad lighting then select next 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 i don't have a sim no you can use your default theme or the limitless let's just go for the limitless right now setup complete and there you go you have successfully installed my ui 9 on your redmi note 3 there you go and as you can see ui is a bit smaller than before so you can just install the dpi changer app just set the dpi to 470 and you will be good like redmi note 3 again so yeah guys thanks for watching if you like this video please drop a like and subscribe down there thanks for watching see you in the next one peace